Hey hey, my name is Vera Golosova and welcome to my channel. Here I show you my artist journey, what I uncover during this journey, what inspires me and what takes my interest. And in this video I want to show you the power of spring. I live in Moscow, Russia, but I live nearby a huge forest, so in April I was able to witness the unstoppable power of spring, its inevitability, but also kind of step backs because I cannot count the all the times when we almost had spring, you have all these like flowers and like weather, very warm weather and sun, and then next day you have snow. And it happened I think like 10 times maybe, or even more. Um, and I wanted to document all of that, and I did, but I didn't have a chance to show it to you right away, because it was also the time when two of the courses that I've been taking, art courses, um, they came to an end in April, and it was course on composition with Marshall Vendrup, and it was also a lettering course. If there is anything that I've learned, uh, besides the actual like knowledge that I get about composition and letters is that taking two big courses at the same time with a feedback was a mistake. Um, I finished the composition camp nicely but I ditched the final task for lettering course. I really want to do it um, but I'm not sure if I will if I have the stamina left for that. I, in the end of the courses, of both courses, I was so exhausted. Yeah, plus I started to uh, take care of my teeth, um, which is very painful for me, and I hate going to dentist, who loves, yeah, but I really hate it. Um, and surprisingly, I had a couple of client projects uh, which were kind of unplanned, because I'm not taking that much of client work now and I really want to, this year, to focus on my art journey, on studies. Some work happened and it was, it all happened in a like crazy knot. And yeah, this is like dinosaur. Do, 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 do. Thank you. 
next uh, part of the video you will see a little bit of uh, Moscow, city of Moscow, and after the year in pandemic I kind of feel like a tourist in my own city now, because everything seems so new and so interesting and uh, so fresh, and it's like so little people. Um, and I'm showing to you the place near one of the railway stations of Moscow and the Mo river Moscow. And uh, there on the back you can see Moscow State University. This is like one of the main universities in Russia and this is where I studied actually. Because I have a degree in sociology and it will um, actually be in a separate video. I'm almost done with it. I'm kind of writing the script for my story video. Uh, where I will share with you my background and how I, ca I came to being like an artist and a YouTuber. Uh, so have a great time. Um, here is Moscow for you. Um, and ask me questions about Moscow in comments. I will try to answer. And then maybe you have any like city requests or something. I remember that you liked quite a lot the videos from the museum. And I plan to go to the museums. Um, this summer to draw and I will show it to you of course but if there is anything you want to see uh, drop me a line and I will try to do something about it As you can see, I was not always alone. When I went to the woods, I was often accompanied with my son. And what I wanted to tell is that I don't flash him that much in this channel because privacy issues and everything. But I cannot understate how much he influences my life because um, basically he's four years old. So very big part of my family life and my life is built around his needs. And sometimes it is very exhausting, I have to say, but I feel very grateful uh, because I have a chance to see how he perceives the world, how he dives into things that interest him. And even if he he's a like child of the 21st century, very modern kid with all those like screens, iPads, Netflix and mobile games and everything he still loves to beat some mud 
and I like it. I'm really happy. I thought he won't be that excited about it, but it seems that he is, and I wanted to show you like a small glimpse of it. Because I think we have lots of things to learn from kids, uh, especially he, their very natural and very innate sense of agency. They really know what they want um, and they really know what they like, what they don't like. And <laughs> we as an adult human beings who are always doubting ourselves, we need to learn from kids, I think. Thanks for listening. for watching this video and I'm saying goodbye to you for now. I'm going to the dacha from previous video, if you maybe didn't see it, uh, for a week. Um, it will be a small vacation. We usually have vacation in the beginning of May in Russia and I'm retreating uh, with my son and my mom and we are leaving my husband and a dog home for them to enjoy some solitude because if there is one thing that parents need is solitude sometimes and I really hope I can shoot you some more footage and maybe I will have some interesting thoughts there and I'm taking my tripod with me and I really want to shoot some sketching or painting process for you so see you in a couple of weeks and um, yeah off to nature it's like Spring is kind of here in the full swing and summer is almost here. It's hard to believe actually. Thank you for thank you for subscribing to to my channel, for leaving me comments and for supporting my very like this small and uh, very in intimate and like very cute channel. Uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Have a great coffee or tea or whatever fancies you and see you later. Bye!